the former Detective Inspector Martin Donnelly from Hoxton Police Station. He retired six months ago after a 35 year distinguished service. I've heard of him. Well, I sort of knew him. He was the senior investigating officer on a fold operation that I was attached to when I first left Hendon. He was old school, a proper family man. So what's he doing higher in the street, Tom? Well, to be fair, we don't exactly know what the nature of his relationship with Lucy Thomas is. Well, we do know that he called her only hours before she got injured. OK, go and talk to him, but do it softly. We're only interested in finding out how Lucy Thomas got injured. We're not trying to disgrace a former DI for paying for a bit of company. Who is this Donnelly? I only know it by reputation. What's that? Hard. Mr. Donnelly, it's Sun Hill. Can we have a quick word? Come in. Thanks. I know you, don't I, son? I don't think so. Yeah, you box. I'm right, aren't I? Well, I used to. You given up? But that's a shame. I saw you in action. Hammer of a right hand. Nice fireplace. Does it work? Nah, it's fake. Looks good, though, eh? You had a party here last night, Mr. Donnelly? Oh, nothing gets past you uniform boys, eh? Yeah, bit of a housewarming. A few of the boys over, beers and pizza. No big deal. Lucy Thomas here as a guest. She in trouble? Depends what you mean by trouble. Is this about her fall? A fall? Yeah. How is the poor kid? We brought her into custody this morning on an outstanding warrant. And she collapsed. We're trying to find out why. Yeah, well, that's easily sorted. She was a bit the worse for wear last night. Um, she... Well, I'll show you. She came over here. She looked like she was going to spew. you. Yeah, she does that. Um, anyway, she kind of slipped and fell backwards and banged her head. On here. Well, you won't find anything. I cleaned up this morning. Look, it was just a stupid accident. It didn't seem serious at the time. Any witnesses? No, it was late. Everybody had gone by then. What happened after the fall? I, uh, got it patched up. Where? A mate of mine, a retired doctor. I know from the job. Why did you do that? Because she asked me to. Why? Oh, this is getting embarrassing. But here goes. There may or there may not have been a little bit of Charlie floating about last night. Not that I saw anything. Anyway, Lucy goes and bangs her head. Turns out she's got a child in care and she's trying to get him back. So she didn't want anyone knowing that she was using illegal substances. Do you know what I'm saying? It was a favour to her. Got it in one. So that'd be a big favour. She had a pretty bad concussion. I've told you, it didn't seem serious at the time. Anyway, she got the best medical attention and she didn't have to hang around some grotty hospital for hours. I even drove her home afterwards, put her to bed. I can't believe she's made a complaint about this. She hasn't? Yet? Well then, so everybody's happy. Do you mind if we take some photographs of the scene? Help yourself. And we're going to need the names of everyone at the party and your retired doctor friend. Well, that's a shame. Because the guy was just helping the girl out. And I don't want to get him into trouble over this. You know the routine. We need to talk to him. I'm sure you do the same for you and me. His name's Nigel. Dr. Nigel Botterill. I'll get you the details. Still ain't got a clue what's going on. Sometimes there's more than one way to skin a cat. It was Smith, he said we couldn't proceed unless we got a statement from Lucy Thomas. Well, the acting inspector doesn't know what, doesn't he? Look, Daniel, I'm on a fishing trip here. Just follow my lead, do what I say, no questions asked. Got it? You've been to see Lucy Thomas yet? Yeah, so have you. I took her some flowers. Saw them, very nice. So, what did she say? Who? Lucy. What did she say? Oh, right. Actually, she said pretty much what you said. Well, there you go, then. In fact, she said exactly what you said. It was uncanny, wasn't it, Daniel? 
What is it you're doing? Trying to work out why you bash Lucy Thomas's head in with a poker. It's like Cluedo, isn't it? Listen, don't you dare play games with me, son. Or what? You let me with your poker? You can't, Martin. We found it. It's being bagged as evidence right now. Oh, he's good. You're very good. But you see, if you had any real evidence, you'd have arrested me instead of giving away your strongest card. You see these? These were given to me for 35 years of service in the police force. And what's it come down to, eh? Some cocky uniform sergeant trying to rile me into a confession. It's stone, isn't it? Callum Stone. Well, I've heard about you. You didn't really think that had worked, did you? Hey, can't fault me for trying, can you? No. But it makes me wonder what it is you're after. I'm after a result. Results come in all shapes and sizes. So what is it you're really after? Daniel, would you give me and Mr Donnelly a minute? What? Wait in the car. But now, PC Casper. You and me have got a couple of things to chat about. Starting with the exact nature of your relationship with Lucy Thomas. Nothing's happening there. You all right? You look a bit pale. I need to get out of it. No good. No reception. Brilliant. I think I must have frosted a little claustrophobic. Sorry. Still, we might as well put our time to good use. Why'd you do it, Kelvin? What did you get out of terrorising elderly women living on their own? You're kidding me, right? You're interviewing me while we're stuck in a lift. Good question, though. I didn't do it. You've got the wrong man. Well, might as well tell us the truth. I could be here for hours. Will you get her away from me? Bit difficult, that. Because it's such a small, confined space. No windows. I don't have a relationship with Lucy. I might have used her services once or twice. I'm talking professional relationship, not personal. Occasionally, I would use her as an informant. Throw her a few quid now and then. So what? Ah, right. That'll be what she meant by protection. I'm sure that'll cover everything when the financial investigation unit starts to look into your cash flow. I mean, look at this place. A bit extravagant for a DI's pension. Things have got to be tight, what with a divorce, child support for the kids. Where's all the money coming from for that? You're fishing. You're hooked. I made a few phone calls. Oh, yeah? Heard a few things. You don't smell so sweet. My record's clean. So is mine. You know who you remind me of? Who? <sighs> me. So, Sergeant, how can we make this thing go away? What happened? Not a lot. I threatened him, he laughed at me. No, I mean about you sending me out up there. What's all that about? That was about your Sergeant giving you an order. Is that a problem? No. Which part of no questions asked didn't you understand? You know what, Daniel? Just sometimes you've got to take things as you find them. So what happens now? We go back to work. We don't mention this visit to the acting inspector. Or anyone else for that matter. It's more grief than it's worth. Smithy, I was just wondering if I could have a word with you about Sergeant Stone. You know, that's funny. Because I was just about to come and find you and talk to you about the same thing. My office, now. Shut the door. Sergeant Stone told me that forensics tested the poker, but they couldn't get any clean prints on it. Will tells me the poker never even went to forensics, and now the poker's disappeared and so has Stone. So you need to tell me exactly what happened between Donnelly and Stone today. Yes, sir. You better make this quick. 
A walkabout won't belong to a miss. Yeah, well, hang on. First things first, eh? Trusting fellow, aren't you? Well, you never know what people are going to do. No, you don't, do you? Hang on. First things first, remember? I've told you. You'll be taken care of. Now, you've been long on promises and short on detail. That wasn't easy to get, you know? Will, have you had any luck tracing Stone's IRV yet? The mobile data terminal places him on Lassa Street. That's well, just around the corner. I, I just don't get it. What's he playing at? That is what I intend to find out. Five grand. Seems like a cheap price to put on your liberty. It's a poker, not a smoking gun. And besides, it's all I can afford. Oh, come on. How much you've been skimming off Lucy's earnings over the years? Oh, you think you're so safe, don't you? You think you'll never make a mistake? Look, I never meant to hurt Lucy. All these years, I've never so much as laid a hand on her. Not once. Until last night. When she wouldn't have sex with you? Oh, you'll learn, son. Just you wait and see. Maybe. It's not what you think. Come in! Oi! Stop! Oi! Let's go! Stop! 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 Come in! I think I can get him! Oi! Oi! Right, get up! I want to know what is going on right now! Back to Inspector Smith. <clears throat> Just keep yourself still. I'd like you to meet DS Clive Russell and DC Gary Peters from the DPS Anti Corruption Squad. You organised this thing? Yeah. Sorry. 